When you are all into customizing, you surely need more tools, as your students do. If you have an objective in mind, for example, you keep in mind your students' strengths and weaknesses, right? So you start scaffolding when needed and your aim is to let everyone in your class to either reach your initial objectives or exceed your expectations. I wanted to deliver this concept in a simple yet effective cover slide for my upcoming teacher training courses. So I realized that I needed first and foremost the customized posters. Secondly, I want it to be in the slide, but not in a picture, video, or a Bitmoji way. So I turned things around and I came up with a fast solution. In this video, I'll show you how I achieved exactly what I was looking for by turning things around with more tools and lateral thinking. The first part is easy because all you need is an empty room and you can find plenty ready-made around the web shared by amazing teachers. Thank you. Just pick one that you like and get a free pencil image from Pixabay to represent the objective line. Insert the image in your slide. In order to combine Bitmoji and a real picture, I use Remove BG. I combine the two parts and then I put it behind the pencil. We all know more or less how to add images in Google Slides, so, so let's see how to create our personal posters without wasting precious time. We go to postermaker.com and choose a style. There are plenty to choose from. I like this simple one. I click on it in order to customize with words and colors I like. Save a background color. I love this blue one. No? Then go back to your project. Then upload the background color that you've chosen. Then adjust the size. Don't worry about covering up the words. We will send it back now. By pressing Command B or Control B, you can send the image back it will be layered back or you can use that button and you just press it again and again and you will see that all the words will pop in front. As you can see, I could write exactly what I wanted to write in my poster. I used the template as a starting point, then I added everything else I had in mind. You can also add some fancy frames if you wish. And once you have chosen, you can also customize the size and put it big or small as you like. Make sure to send the image back once you insert your frame, otherwise it will be layered behind. You can find user-friendly tools here, very easy to use. Once you have finished your project, you can download your final poster without the need to register and upload it to your slides. I usually download it as a PNG for quality, then I upload it to my slide. And here is the slide cover I wanted with personalized learning in mind and the two posters with exactly the words I wanted to see. In case you're wondering, the animation is made with Keynote, so the PowerPoint version in Mac. Select the objects and then you can animate them from here. You can find a lot of animation for your slides and you can preview it before you choose. You can set built-in actions, an action that you want the object to perform and a built-out action. Then you really get cool animation. You can also set the slides as self-playing and then export it as a video. Just go to file and then export it as movie. Then select self-playing if it's not already there. We can put zeros and zeros here, it doesn't matter. And then we save it. If you like GIFs, you can convert your video into a GIF. Just go to GIF sites like easygifs.com, upload your video 
enter start time 0 end time 25 just to make sure you have all your animation covered in the GIF then save it into your computer you can use it as a background into your Google Slides this GIF that you have just created get a blank slide and insert it as a background here is your video self playing as a GIF if you had inserted as a video you would have to go first to your Google Drive save it there then insert it as a video in this case you would have the annoying play button but if you insert it like this as a GIF as a background you don't have that play button one last note on poster maker you can save your posters in different formats like pdfs jpegs pngs etc and also you can choose the size all this in the free version there are some advertisements as sponsors i believe apart from that i appreciate the fact that i can get what i need without being forced to register. It's super cool that you can directly publish your poster on the web and share it in social media platforms. You click on save the image online and then copy the link, open the tab in your browser, paste the link to test and here you go, the poster is published online. In the same place where you copy the link you have different options of social media links as well like Pinterest, Facebook, etc. Coming up more on customizing, don't miss the next videos. That's all for today. Bye!